Hi guys, this is Heidi with Kiddos Corral, and it is about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and this recipe that I'm going to share with you takes between 2 and 3 hours. I estimate 3 hours. The reason for that is because the actual recipe calls for 6 ears of corn. Now, I use the ones that I buy from Aldi's that's already kind of pre-cleaned a little bit. I still have to pull what is left on these off and rinse them off. But I use eight ears of corn because there's four of us currently at home and I try to estimate a couple ears of corn uh, for my guys um, as a side because they love it and um, you know I want to make sure that they have plenty to eat and they get full. Now for myself, I probably will only eat one ear of corn um, just because I'm not a big uh, corn on the cob fan, but um, this is an excellent recipe, especially if you're a mom on the go and you need to go for a couple hours and take your kids to baseball or take them to soccer or whatever they might be involved in through the summer months. Um, you can just put this on and then come home and you're going to make, I'm going to make up uh, some butter. It's got butter and parsley and chives and I'll show you how I do all that and you pour it over top of your corn and your crock pot when it's all done and it is delicious now uh, it's very simple what you start with first thing you got to do is clean your corn uh, you want to make sure that you know you get it really good and clean and then you're going to have about a cup of water and you're going to just pour this into your crock pot just like that you're going to lay your corn in there and turn it on low and come back in about two or three hours and then I'll show you what is next okay there are all of my ears of corn in there there's eight in total my uh, cup of water I turn my crock pot on low and put my lid on and I will see you guys in three hours okay we're back and we are ready to jazz up this corn so as you know we have just a plain corn uh, corn on the cob in the crock pot with a little bit of water which I showed that already and now we want to dress it up because the corn is done and you can eat it and take it out of there just like that and serve it up if you would like but I kind of like mine jazzed up so I'm going to show you guys what I do you're going to see a lot of steam that's what cooks the corn what I have in this large bowl right here hopefully you guys can see that is one stick of unsalted butter and you want to drizzle that all over your corn. Who doesn't like buttered corn? All right, I'm going to discard this. And now I'm going to add in some fresh chives. And I'm going to do that by hand because I want to sprinkle it evenly all over the corn. Just like so. There we go. And then I have some fresh parsley and I want to sprinkle that all over the corn. And then I've got a little bit of salt. I'm going to add that in. And then I want to put a little bit of crushed black pepper over the top. Then I'm going to put my lid back on for about 10 minutes and let that kind of get acquainted with one another and it is going to be yummy when we pull this out. Okay, we're back and the corn on the cob is done and I want to take it out and show you guys what it looks like. And we're about to eat supper. I made baked chicken to go with this. It's going to be really, really good all together. There we go. Now this is nice for Memorial Day, 4th of July. You just put all your ears of corn in here. If you have a couple crock pots, you can make even more than eight ears of corn than I did. And everybody can get a couple. There we go. That is it. I hope y'all enjoyed seeing how I make my crock pot 
corn on the cob. I hope y'all are having a wonderful, blessed Sunday, and I will be talking to you guys again soon. Bye-bye.